Hello, hello, and welcome to Art Snack. That's when we take a short break from our hectic work day just to talk about art. My name is Jenny Lynn James, and I'm an artist based in Toronto, Canada. And with me today is Arthur Bucknow, better known as Scooby, and he's joining uh -huh. us all the way from Accra in Ghana. Welcome so much, Scooby. How are you today? I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing wonderful. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. So please tell us a little bit about how you got started in painting and art what, and uh, what influences your work. Okay. Um, uh, my dad actually was an artist in the oh. 70s. He did what we call the sculptural idiom. And as a kid, I just watched him paint all the time. I really didn't know at the time that I was going to be that interested in it, but I just used to watch him all the time, mix colors and do different kinds of stuff. My father was very talented. Yes. Um, fast forward to going back to the United States in 1980, where I had to take a, a blow off course to make my grades better. Okay. So I figured, why not take painting? Because I can copy some of my dad's work and nobody really know that I can get a better grade because okay. I was on a scholarship. That's how it started. This started in 1987, I think it was. That's when I started actually painting on canvas. Okay. Very good. Right. So then uh, I finished my undergrad in communications and uh, journalism, and I went back home, and they invited me to come do my master's at the same University of New York to do my master's in fine arts because I had taken an art course, and the professor was amazed that I had no previous tutelage right so that's how it all got started oh okay. interesting my dad it, yes yes but you had the influence from home from a young child so that that's significant right 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 and so the work that you do now what uh, influences the, the images that you paint now um you know uh, the influences vary because of the multicultural experiences that I came across when I went to university. Okay. I met people from Trinidad, I met from Jamaica, I met people from uh, Montserrat and all okay. these islands. Now the yes. reason I became so attached to them was that in those days there were not many Africans in the United States at the time. Oh. So when I saw all the black people that ate roti or ackee and saltfish or any <laughs> kind of ethnic food, I yeah. kind of gravitated towards that towards them. Right, so, right right so that's when i started getting a different kind of form of expression because now i was in the united states and i was dealing with black people that were not necessarily from ghana who were just black like me maybe the texture of hair might be a little different yeah or the accent might be a little different but there were so many things that made them intriguing to me so my expression started from uh describing the people that i met uh, oh, Lord. Yeah, I'm going to show some of your work now. Okay. This right here, actually, is my dad's. Oh, this is um, your dad's work? Okay. Yes, I wanted to add it on because I want to give you guys an, an, an idea of what it is that he did, which was uh, the sculpture idiom. Now, this is also my brother's, who okay. was also a painter. Okay. Right. I wanted to add those to give you an idea where I've come and where, I, where I'm going with yes, the, yes. The, with the, my dad and my older brother. So this, so um, what is your brother's name? Uh, he was Charles Kofi Buckner. He's okay. late, he died in three, three years ago. He was oh. actually an actor and also painted, but he painted this one. Yes. What is it it's called? called? The flute, it's called the Flute Players. The Flute Players, yes. So all, West yes, African image. Yes, the and Northerners with those hats. Now that's my painting. Okay. Yes, and this is, is it, called um, acrylic or oil. It's acrylic on canvas. Okay. And it's called ancestral. Ancestral. What now the reason mean? I call it ancestral. Oh, I'm sorry. The reason I call it ancestral is because the long necks on the images on the top are related to the people underneath with gray hairs and beards who kind of like paved the way for them to be who they became. Yes. It looks like a germinated trees or plants of human beings coming from their ancestries, uh, the motherland and where have you, to come to new diaspora 
where we have blacks of different kinds of cultures and ethnic backgrounds. And that's yes. why I called it ancestral. Ancestral. Okay, let's see what else we have. This one. Okay. Now, <laughs> some of my paintings are very spontaneous because um, I don't necessarily plan to paint them the way they turn out. This is called Afro Puff. Uh, I was very fond of hair and I didn't have a lot of hair myself. So I've always been very crazy about hair. So all my paintings have a lot of hair in them, if you, if you notice closely. This painting was actually a painting of two dondo drummers. These are drums you put under your arm and play. Okay. But when I was done with it, I wasn't really happy with it. So I turned it around and I cropped the outsides and created the face that I have you're looking at right now. So all the busyness that's inside the Afro are now considered to be vegetables. Oh. Or, uh, <laughs> yes, so it's called a veggie Afro. Okay. All right. This one. This is also called uh, Faces in the Crowd. Um, it was originally inspired by my dad's a painting my dad had made many years before. And I had just memories of it in my mind. Yes. And I was commissioned to do this one, which shows the different expressionisms of the different people that you meet around the world that are all black. You know, the, the interesting thing for me for black people going out of Ghana was that I got to see so many different kinds of black folk that I'd never, I don't know about Jamaica, maybe Trinidad, Tobago, and maybe uh, Barbados, but I didn't know a lot of the uh, 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 other ethnic groups, like say kids and all these Montserrat's and all that. And these are the paintings that helped me express those because I saw people dark like you and me. I saw people that looked Asian, but black. I saw them look more Indian and black. Yes. And it blew my mind. All had this uh, similarity African about the Well, on the, on the yes. continent, it's like that. You yes. know, from South so that's Sudan this is to from. South Africa, yeah, everybody looks different. <laughs> right, exactly. When I, went to, when I went to college, I was very amazed by uh, the other eth uh, ethnic groups that I met that were of African descent. Oh, yes. Amazing, because I had never known that before. Mm -hmm. And it opened up a whole lot of stuff to me, and that's what inspired my painting mostly. Yes, yes. This one. Okay. Now, uh, this painting is called Deep Thought. If you look closely, you see his jaws, his, his hands around his chin and his ears, because he's in deep thought. Oh, okay. Um, cool. And save for whatever a person may be going through. Pensive when I had my brain operation, wondering if I'd ever be able to walk again. Pensive because I wasn't sure what was gonna happen to my son. Pen, uh, pensive because um, the colors represent the different uh, triumphs or the different uh, um, obstacles that I overcame when I got my paralysis through uh, my brain tumor and how I managed to teach myself to paint all over again. So it's, oh, it's yeah. all incorporated. This deep thought. Deep thought. Okay. Yes. And this one, we have time for one more. With what is this image? Yeah. Okay. I am so glad you take showing me these. Um, this is a painting I did in 1990 uh, okay. when I first started doing my master's in fine art. It was one of my earliest pieces, and as you can tell, I like masks a lot because my father did, and I used to watch him paint masks a lot. So this is called a mask motif, uh, sort of like a carnival, okay. as you can probably relate to. You know, when you go to carnivals, there's all this colorful attire, such festive colors, not necessarily African, but you could, you could tell the ethnicity by the kind of designs that were on the masks that were yes. parading through the crowd. This is basically what this painting uh, okay. represents. Well, that's yes. all we have time for today. So thank you so much for joining us on Art Snack. How can the viewers uh, see your work if they wanted to, to contact you to get something? Sure. Um, I got a, this is just a quick elaboration. Because I'm in Ghana, I, I always go through my Instagram, which is Arthur, Instagram. Arthur underscore yes. Fred. On Facebook, just plain Arthur Bucknor. Um, I, what I do is basically just add shipping to the prize that I give to my people when they tune in and I paint the painting for them right. and I ship it to them. So wherever. what I'm going to do is tell the viewers they can contact you through your Instagram, Arthur okay. underscore fresh. That's right. fresh with two H's, Arthur yes. underscore fresh. And also Facebook, 
Arthur Bucknell. So I put that in the uh, on the screen here, and that's where sure. the viewers can contact you. So that's all we have time for today. Thank you so much, Arthur, or better known as Scooby, for joining us all the way from Prague, Ghana. We sincerely and appreciate thank you so that. much for having me. Thank you yes. so much for having me. Pleasure meeting you. Delight. I'm delighted to have met you. Yes, thank and you. I like and I want to background. invite everyone to join us again tomorrow for another presentation of Art Snack. You can follow <laughs> me on uh, Instagram and Facebook, Art by Jenny Lynn James. That's Art by Jenny Lynn James. Check out my website, okay. jennylynnjames.com backslash art. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. So you can keep up to date with all our special guests on Art Snacks. See you next time. Bye.